I got this uh, picture from one of my viewers, and I thought it would be interesting to go over this because this is something I've seen a lot. Unfortunately, I never took pictures of it before. Uh, this looks really terrible, and to a certain extent it is. It's a result of this stack type sequencer here making a bad connection, which is not really unusual for these sequencers, and that bad connection heats and it literally starts burning up all sorts of things in the furnace. Now I'm going to show you a picture of what one of these sequencers looks like uh, before it gets all burned up. Uh, these are probably the most common sequencers used out there today. Uh, not my most favorite sequencer. Pretty low quality uh, and does a lot of things like that one I just showed you. What happens, they have very small contacts inside and it's very easy for those contacts to make a bad connection. And it literally starts a small fire in there. So let's go back and we'll take a look at the mess. And I'll tell you what I think you can do about it once you have that mess. Here's what I'm going to tell you about this. It's not quite as bad as all this looks like. Now it did kind of start a little fire in there and it probably really stinked up the house and so on. But once this sequencer is replaced, the rest of the furnace is fine. This is no reason to throw this furnace away. I've seen guys say, oh God, we can't fix that, we gotta throw it away. That's a bunch of crap. That furnace is repairable. You need some wire. Uh, 105C THHN would do fine. This limit switch, it's up to you whether you replace it or not. It probably has not been that overheated, but I think I probably would just because. So you could replace the limit, replace the sequencer, and get in there and replace all these wires. This furnace is ready to go again. There's no reason you can't repair this thing. Now I did a video on, and I'll reference it here, on changing this over to a uh, contactor, which will not do this kind of stuff unless there's some really odd things happen. It's probably a better choice if you if you're confident in your abilities, it's a fairly uh, tough repair and requires some electrical uh, experience to do. But this can be fixed. One of the things you're going to have a problem with in fixing this is determining which wire went where. Now it looks like on this one we've got yellow and black and so you can kind of make a, a uh, determination of which wire goes where simply by the color. You also have, hopefully, a wiring diagram. Hopefully it hasn't been burned up. And you can use the wiring di diagram to guide you. But this is not as bad as it seems. It is repairable. And uh, with some skill, you can do it. Okay, that's about it on this one. Just kind of wanted to show you how these things can get really terrible and what you can do about it.